the internal vertebral venous plexus, this one here, it surrounds the dura mater, the spinal dura mater. So here is your spinal cord here. There is the anterior median fissure, anterior lateral sulcus, that's the anterior rootlets. Then there would be a posterior rootlets coming off the back. Together forming the spinal nerve, there is the posterior root ganglion, posterior primary ramus, anterior primary ramus. The dura mater is this white area around here. The black line, if you can see it, that's the arachnoid matter. And uh, this space here, that's the subarachnoid space. The pia matter covers the spinal cord directly. So here, the dura mater is this white portion. And you can see it is surrounded by the internal vertebral venous plexus here. And then outside of the internal vertebral venous plexus there is a, a layer of fat tissue called extradural fat because it's outside of the dura matter, extradural. And then around the fat is the vertebral bone. So you have the vertebral bone, the vertebral foramen, the canal through which spinal cord passes. So then there is the fat, then there's internal venous, vertebral venous plexus, dura matter, spinal dura matter, and then arachnoid matter, PM matter, and spinal cord. So it's important that you understand that the dura matter does not come directly in contact with the vertebral bone, but is surrounded by the internal venous plexus and then a layer of extra dural fat. So now we look at the cranial nerve. So this is the brain viewed from uh, inferior view. It's half of the brain, one hemisphere. And again, we're looking at it from the inferior, inferior view, from the bottom. You see, there is the frontal lobe in there. There is a temporal lobe. Here's the cerebellum. There is pons and medulla oblongata. There are 12 cranial nerves. We'll just, we won't talk about their function at this moment, just going to name them and their location. So here, the first cranial nerve is the olfactory nerves. And note that cranial nerves from previous tutorial I told you the cranial nerves are a part of the peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system consists of cranial nerves and spinal nerves and a bundle of axons within the peripheral nervous system we call them nerves so if you hear the word nerve you know we're talking about the peripheral nervous system okay so the 12 cranial nerves because they're called because they're part of the peripheral nervous system we do not call them 12 cranial tracts we call them 12 cranial nerves because they're part of the peripheral nervous system. So we use the term nerve. This here, the first cranial nerve is the olfactory nerve, involved with sense of smell. We cannot see the olfactory nerve here because uh, it's the s neurons, sensory neurons, that are located within our nose and they send their uh, branches, their uh, axons, to this olfactory bulb located at the base of the front of frontal lobe. So the olfactory nerves since this is the bottom view, inferior view of the brain, you can imagine they coming up like so, my pen pointing like this. Many of them, like this. So my pen are the olfactory nerves. Coming from the nose, go up to the olfactory bulb. Lots of them like this. Okay, those would be the olfactory nerves. Cranial nerve 1. And so they send their s signals to the olfactory bulb, and then from the olfactory bulb, the olfactory tract takes it to the brain.